I'm in beautiful Rochester Hills, Michigan. We're going to run a pipe down the side of this lot, and it's going to go right to that curb. And I'm grabbing up the water in the collection areas. Everybody's calling for consultation, and they're asking, how do you design a system? So I'm showing you that. So this is really, really wet. It's crazy wet. I'm sinking as I walk, and that's why I'm in my muck boots. Now, we call these potholes. And that's an industry term. You want to run your pipe in all the potholes. So grab it up. That's where it collects. Now this one's going to go off into this direction and I'm going to tell you why. It's because this yard has a very slight indentation. We're not going to fill it in with dirt because if we do fill it in with dirt, that's all we're going to do is spread the water out and it's going to be harder to collect. So we have this pothole and it hasn't rained for a couple days and this yard's still showing me everything that I need to see so we're gonna go through those potholes there come up into this pothole here and we should be fine now just look at this this is Rochester Hills Michigan look at this it's beautiful man can you imagine look at this backyard look at everyone's yards just gorgeous everyone keeps their yards so nice Really nice here in Rochester Hills, Michigan. Really nice. Okay, so we got a little different story on the other side. This willow tree is going to be a problem. There's just no getting around it. It's going to be a problem. We're just going to do a blind inlet right here, and we're not going to... We know it's on a timer. That tree is aggressive. Right here, we'll get into our traditional French drain, as you know it. Now, we have utilities here, and I mean, this is a minefield for a contractor. I got fiber optics, I got communication wires of all kinds, I got the electrical running with communication, you got the orange and the red. So this has to be done with a vacuum excavator. We're gonna expose these utilities, so we'll show you that. But we're gonna go right through this pothole, Grab up all that water. We're gonna stay right in where it is wet and soggy and spongy, and we're gonna take it out to the curb. So, you know, this one's a pretty generic one, but it's a start. I'll show you more. I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough with me. This was a job where I really needed to go back during the rain to see what was going on. Again, I didn't shoot this with the intent and in putting it up on our YouTube channel. Right here, they're going to put concrete, so I'm not worried about that. This isn't too bad either. Water wasn't finding its way into the garage. I asked the homeowner, not yet anyway. The homeowner just moved into this house right before winter. So here we are now, spring, and they're realizing they got a water problem. They did not have any pictures to show me. Okay, now we're, we're looking at some water. So here's a collection area. I know I want to drop my French drain in this location. I got utilities running parallel with the fence. And this is a huge liability for a contractor. I got fiber optics right there. This is a landmine. You want to stay away from that. Now the neighbor's yard, you can see how much water they have. They actually have more. What this tells me, at some point, this homeowner or the previous homeowner added dirt. The storm drain is all the way to the opposite fence line behind them. And you can see how with all these garden boxes, sheds, look at that big tree right in the swale between to the left of the fence. And then the storm drain is that way. The water can't find its way out of this yard. We see this a lot. Everyone says the water isn't drained in this neighborhood. Well, over the years, when you're building your gardens and your landscape beds and planting trees, this is what happens. 
Again, look at the utilities. Remember that. We're going to come back to that. This is a typical walkthrough. If there is a job in question, I want to see it like this. I want to go there during a really good rain. When you see these markings, that's trouble right there. You don't want to go near that. High concentration right there of water. I want to grab that up. We got that high concentration over in the corner. That's another area. We're going to put our drain in there and how we're going to do it is with a vacuum excavator which I have not shown you guys yet but we will get to that this year. These utilities run down all the fence lines right where you'd want to put your drain system. Now I noticed something there is a flow of water right there and what I usually do is I'll take my boot kind of step on the ground get the dirt swirling in the water and I'll go upstream I see sheet water coming off the neighbors driveway and another thing that I see this water's all running into the homeowners backyard that I'm representing and their neighbor knows it those brick pavers were installed to shed water now remember why you're here you're here to fix the problem not to create a problem so you don't even want to go to your homeowner and draw their attention to that we're going to take care of the water this is a collection area and that downspout is a huge liability we're going to take care of that as well we're going to drop our third pipe right there so my plan is the three collection areas to run 10 feet of our French drain take it to dual wall 4 inch and I already got permission to do a tap there's right where those flags are luckily they sympathized with these people and they were persistent enough that they're gonna allow me to do a tap they normally wouldn't now it's gonna be like a wagon wheel or spokes on a bike wheel we're going to have those three locations where I grab up the water with our stone French drain and we're going to come to that area where I had those four flags and we're going to do our tap. If that wasn't there, and again remember, I'm going to use a vacuum excavator to remove the soil. I'm going to unearth these utilities. The neighbor will benefit from this. The fence is already getting kind of small. See, when the fence is short, you know the previous owner added dirt. I'm just double checking everything, making sure I didn't miss anything. Obviously, the utilities bother me. I actually need less drain in this yard than I thought originally. The homeowner is going to be pleased because that comes out of savings. You never want to fill these collection areas. I know a lot of people look at this and say, well, the neighbor has most of the water. If we fill it some more, we'll chase all the water into their yard. Well, what happens when you chase it into the garage? Because that's what happens. So we got that collection area, the one over by the garage, and then there's that one at the AC unit. I'm grabbing the water in the three concentrated areas I'm not even gonna worry about this because it's running down into that corner and I'm gonna get the water there again I'm not gonna make a deal I'm not gonna even draw the homeowners attention to that I want them to be at peace with their neighbor we're gonna get rid of those burning bush because they're a huge liability to the drainage system and they're gonna put up a privacy fence there we're gonna run that downspout right into that tap as well because that downspout in particular is a huge liability I'll run that other one far enough out to where we grab it in our collection area this is a typical walkthrough you systematically go through everything there were there were actually three ways to drain this yard I'm telling you how I ended up draining this yard 
if I was not allowed permission to do the tap, it would have went to a sump pump system because gravity would have been almost impossible to do and really, really costly. It would have been a deep dig, and I'm, I'm afraid that we would not have dried this yard out. Just like a wagon wheel, spokes on a wheel is what this is going to look like, all running to the center where the tap is. Every yard is different. Every property is unique. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Once we control that gutter that's pouring water on the concrete that's running to the garage, that's going to relieve that standing water you've seen right by the service door of the garage. So you could run a French drain and grab that water shutting off the garage, but again, it's running to that collection area just like the, wa the sheet water coming off the neighbor's driveway. We're going to grab that water up in the back in the lowest points of the property. Remember that you're always going to put your drainage system in the lowest points of the property. And that's it. That's a walkthrough. That's making sure that you're not missing anything. Again, just giving it a second look. The concrete is going to be pitched to shed water. We're going to put cobblestone in here because they do have dogs. Doesn't need to be anything more than two inch shoreline rock. So we're going to use high octane. We're going to put high octane in all those low pothole areas that I was showing you. And again, if you want to design your drainage system, just wait till you have a really, really rainy day, maybe a rainy weekend, a good rain event, and it'll speak to you. It'll become very clear where you need to lie the high octane to collect all the water. You just want to put the high octane in all those collection areas. All right, everybody, until the next video.